Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 3. In the last episode, we landed on the Pirate Homeworld, we picked up the X-Ray Visor, and uh, we got a communication from a Federation soldier that escaped capture here on the uh, Pirate Homeworld, and has information on how to get past the Acid Rain, which uh, we will need to do in order to get to the seed. So we are trying to get to that trooper's location, and that's what we'll be doing in this episode. So we'll be exploring the pirate research facility here, and I can roll the morph ball tunnel as well. So this area, I believe, will have our first. Um, encounter with phase on shriek bats? Could have sworn it was this one. Because I always don't expect them, and then suddenly they appear. And okay, cool, we got the scan. So these are Ertragian shriek bats, fast moving explosive flyer, eliminate range if possible. Hertragian shriek bats are fiercely territorial insectoids and will dive bomb anything that wanders near. Uh, this attack is fatal for the shriek bat. Is it, okay, so this is the same as the other shriek bat scan. So, yeah, that one can be a little challenging to get, as with all other shriek bat scans, particularly because you can't actually see them coming. Because they actually do kind of sneak attack you. I don't know why I'm destroying all of these. Because I do believe we will have a fight coming up in this room. Or maybe not. There are these, however. These are Phazon Grubs. Drains bioenergy from its victims. Bite can deliver Phazon infection. Phazon Grubs are drawn to bioenergy in all forms, especially Phazon. They are immune to its mutagenic effects and carry it in their bodies as they roam. They can bite, uh, the, sorry, their bite can infect the phazon, or the victim with phazon corruption, making them plague bearers of a sort. Okay. So, uh, oh look, more street bats. The hide of street bats. So this room is uh, interesting. So we have this walkway that we need to make our way up. And, let's see, there's a missile expansion up there that we want to get our hands on, of course. But, uh, first things first, we have to deal with, uh, kind of a phase on, not, well, there is phase on here, um, but a morph ball maze. I don't know why phase on popped into my head when I was, when I meant to say morph ball. So, if you're in these sections here with the glowing strip, uh, that turret will appear. Ah, dang it, I missed. Oh, I missed. Um, so just be wary of that. There is an energy tank here as well. So, make sure that you pick up that. I think this actually, oops. I think this actually qualifies as a separate room. Yes, this is scrap vault lift and then that scrap vault. So, let's see. Scrap vaults. Scrap works. Oh, sorry, this is scrap works. Wait, so what was that other one that I saw? Is there like a separate, smaller room? Scrap vault. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> I was on this one. I was like, w where's the lift room? It didn't just disappear on me, did it? And the answer to that is no. So I think for now, uh, we want to actually go down that one. There's a ship missile up there, but we do not have, we're not currently equipped to deal with it. Oh, I could have hit a more ball slot there. Well, we're taking the long way around, because I done goofed. I'm doing an excellent job of uh, doing that. <laughs> Uh, today is not my day with these morph ball sections. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, hey, I can skip that one. That's nice. Okay. Let's try taking this. This side again. I'm gonna have to boost on this half pipe in order to get to it. Guess this time drop down. Take that. Hmm, okay, I... I actually want to say that, um... Let's see. Yeah, if we take this one, this one should lead us to... An expansion? Maybe? I'm not remembering... Oh, okay, this is important. Um, I'm not remembering this area quite as well as... Maybe I should be. So we have an S. Once we fix that, uh, we can interact with this. Okay. And these symbols don't really mean anything. Um, they do appear in various areas of this, aside from you know these codes. Um, so there are obviously some symbols of importance to the space pirates, but they never really get explained beyond that. Okay, so we did... We did need to do that in order to uh, make our way forward, so that was important to come this way. I think the other uh, tunnel that we unlocked uh, will spit us back out in this room. So that is what that one is for. So we'll head that way now. Now. You want to be careful here because you get spit out here. Um, there are some robots scanning the area, and actually, this cutscene here is scripted, so um, you can avoid this fight if you destroy both of these. It's a very tight window in order to be able to do that, however, so uh, we didn't, you know, obviously have any have any luck doing that. Um, of course, however, you can get a scan from these guys since they are new enemies. These are Commando Pirates, assault armor composed of phasite, able to cloak and teleport. Commando Pirates use the best gear available, only beams of the highest temperature can penetrate the layer of phasite in the armor suit. All of the weaponry is powered by phason. Each commando has a combat cloaking field along with boost thrusters and a personal teleporter. The face that armor they wear makes them extremely resistant to damage in combat. So these are probably uh, the hardest and the most difficult pirate enemies that we'll have, at least you know, of the normal pirates. You can see it's taking a lot of ammunition to get their armor off and uh, keep them down. So they are quite potent, quite dangerous. And of course. Uh, basically all other pirates and enemies they can run hyper mode we didn't actually see them teleport there um, they do have a few other tricks up their sleeves as well um, including the ability to um, make your x-ray visor go fuzzy um, we didn't really need it in that fight but if they cloak themselves then uh, you will need to use your x-ray visor and order to target them, so uh, I believe whenever they're uncloaked they'll make your, they'll render your x-ray visor unusable, so okay so before we go forward, however um, there was that missile expansion up there that we should get before we leave so yeah, actually what we need to do is uh, screw attack over to this platform and you really only need a space jump in one screw attack there, and then we can use the grab ledge here in order to get to the expansion. So you could actually get this one before you go through that whole uh, morph ball maze, but it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you pick it up, and as long as you want to pick it up. Okay, I think that does it for this room. Uh, there's nothing else for us to scan aside from oh that's just the hatch so 
will keep pressing forward. Okay. Now, this area is a perfect example of avoiding fights because they actually are more lenient on the time with these. So, you can see I destroyed both of them. We don't have to fight anything. Which is nice. Alright, so... You can see some screw attack walls. Or uh, wall jump surfaces. There, but we can't actually get access to them right now. Because the screw is just blocking our way. So for now, let's just scan this. First Disciples. Our struggles have ended. She has shown us the error of our ways. The way is now clear. All previous vows of fealty have been forsworn. We now pledge our sole allegiance to our liberator, the Great One, Dark Samus. We bear singular honor, we lucky few, for we are her first disciples. Our burden is a happy one, for we will pave the way to her glorious victory and cosmic rule. Let the light of Phazon lead us. So, a very interesting uh, story with the... Are you serious? Just destroyed you. Um, th there are trip wires here, and that's why that went off. But still, kind of frustrating. So, welcome here to Metroid Processing, and of course, more pirates. So actually, yeah. See, these guys are a new scan. Assault Shield Trooper. Battle Shield deflects attacks, but can be pulled off with the grapple beam. Okay, so these these ones have the shield uh, on them as well. Uh, okay, but not beam fire. So this is pretty much the same thing, just, you know, they have the shield. A lot of the, the pirate scans are, like, very similar. We have to back them. Dead. Okay, flash shield lock. Don't think that's gonna scan. Oh, hey Pirate Commando, I didn't see you there. So I wonder if it will be close to ability at all. Or teleport. We haven't seen them do that either. Oh, there we go. Thanks for cloaking for me. So. There we go. So it, it stopped cloaking there. You can see my uh, visor. Got all fuzzy. So in addition to those touch panels, we also need to use our x-ray visor. Where is it? Ah, there you are. Uh, in order to do these rotation puzzles. So... Before, we could, you know, see where the rings line up, but if you don't use the x-ray visor here, you won't be able to see it. Again, I haven't really tried doing these without the x-ray visor. That one might be a lot more possible to do. Um, do without it. So for right now, we can't scan these, um... Metroids, although we already have the, the scan for those since we encountered them in Elysia. Well, what we need to do is take that elevator, but I'm just kind of scanning all these random things. They're they're not important. Although that's a uh, a little nod there, SR388 specimen and Talon 4 specimen. So we have references to Metroid 2 and Metroid Prime. Okay, and we have some more things to fix. Nope. Mess that up. Ah, so close. And I did so well with the uh, the ones on the spire pod, too. Yeah, uh, welding that will fix this elevator. So that'll allow us to go from the lower level to the upper level. There is also an energy, energy tank here. Um... This is technically optional, so you don't actually have to remove this in order to progress. 
But since we're getting 100%, uh, we do need to pick it up. This does have the effect, though, of eliminating the barrier on the Metroid cages. So we're going to have to deal with those once we return to the upper level. First time that we've seen this uh, music here. Well, it was originally in the uh, first Prime game. Yep. So, definitely an easy time to uh, freeze the Metroids is when they're charging at you to try to latch onto you. Because they will never. Uh, kind of phase out and make your missile uh, miss when they're doing that attack, so it's a good time to exploit that. There's an ice missile shield here as well, and uh, here is actually an interesting uh, little easter egg, and a lot of people thought at the time that this was kind of hinting at maybe another, uh, the next 2D Metroid, you know, probably on the 3DS. So they thought, you know, it's going to be Metroid Dread. Um, nothing has come of this. It's been 10 years. <laughs> uh, and, you know, no, nothing, you know, along the lines of Metroid Dread has ever been announced. You know, people were speculating that it might be a sequel to Fusion, but... Obviously, we don't have anything uh, on that right now. And so, regardless, even if we didn't get, you know, Metroid Dread, at least not yet, I'm still excited for uh, Prime 4 and Samus Returns. So, in this room, there's a missile expansion over there. Should be able to destroy this. Maybe we need bombs. Okay. So we can get this, but this is all we're going to be able to do in this room for now. So we can rotate this, and that will allow us access to the missile expansion. A little clever uh, morph ball section right there. Of course, we can rotate it back. And that's all of our business here in this room. So, now we're going to do the opposite direction. And we're just going to ignore these Metroids. We already fought a few of them. Okay, so in this room, uh, in order to access this wall jump surface, we are going to need to get rid of the... Uh, of covering it and also you know <laughs> create an opposite surface to jump on as well or hey maybe we can just jump on that we don't actually need anything now and did i get that okay, well, i got at least one of them i got two of them before they went dive yeah <laughs> how many shots does it take to kill them all in hyper mode. Answer, a lot. You know, I could go the, uh, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop route? And just say three. Okay, I'm trying to scan this buffer. As you can tell, it's difficult because it's far away. And there's a giant thing behind it that you can also scan. I will get the scan, even if it, you know, hurts me. I think I'm pretty close. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh, this is so dumb. There are probably easier ones to scan. <laughs> this is a puffer mine. A cybernetic bioform capable of releasing toxic gases. Avoid contact with the puffer mine. These creatures... Uh, are a cybernetically enhanced version of the puffers native to that pirate homeworld. Engineered by space pirates, they are now used as patrol animals. Their bodies have been filled with phazon gas to be used as a defensive measure. 
If their shell is broken, their bodies explode and send a cloud of toxic gas out in all, uh, all around them. Nearby attackers rarely escape the volatile fumes. Okay, so as we you know, go plummeting to our totally not death, let's uh, take the surface here. Okay, and you do actually need to keep screw attacking after you get off the wall there because you won't clear that unless you do. So basically just, well, I guess you fall down into there, which isn't too big of a deal. Would have been cool if they kind of left a gap there, though, to kind of demonstrate that you can do that. Okay, so there is a lore entry here. Yeah, the source discovered. After our liberation, she left us adrift. We thought this a test of our loyalty, and so we endured. Some said she abandoned us. They were promptly shot. Disciples do not doubt their leader. When she returned, it was on the back of a titanic starborn beast. As we groveled in awe, she ordered us to follow the beast through a rift in space, a wormhole. Some refused to follow, afraid of the unknown. They too were shot. Disciples must be fearless. Once through the rift, we saw a singular wonder, Phase, the source of all Phazon in the cosmos. Phase, the home of our glorious leader. So in this room, we get a sneak peek of a little something. Looks like a suit upgrade to me. Unfortunately, the only way to get to it is with an ability we don't have. So for now, uh, there's nothing we're gonna be able to do about this. So I think this will actually be a good place to end off this episode. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Metroid Prime 3. I've been Red X Parasite, signing out.